Dear friends, um, as you know, India is facing unprecedented COVID crisis right now. Uh, my name is Rohit Agarwal. I'm a rheumatologist at University of Pittsburgh. Uh, and the reason for this video is to talk about a drug called baricitinib, uh, which could be used in patients with severe, uh, moderate to severe COVID infection and perhaps could be life-saving in some patients. So I'm going to start sharing my slides. So as you can see my slides, so we will talk about baricitinib, jack inhibitors and moderate to severe COVID infection. So as you know that COVID leads to cytokine storm, which leads to severe uh, inflammation in the lung leading to, to deaths in many patients with COVID-19 infection. And the reason uh, for, this COVID, um, for this COVID cytokine storm is a lot of pro-inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-6, um, interferon signaling is up, uh, and all of this is mediated partly due to JAK's that pathway. Also, as you know, in cytokine storm, CRP and ferritin are extremely high levels. What the baricitinib does is, it, baricitinib is a JAK inhibitor, and what it does is has two modes of action. One, it may reduce the viral infectivity through inhibition of something called numb associated kinase or NAC kinase, and that uh, decreases the viral endocytosis or uptake of the virus. But it also leads to a strong anti-inflammatory um, effect through blockade of JAK1-2 pathway, which blocks IL-6, interferon, and other pro-inflammatory cytokines. Recently, uh, NEGM published uh, this article with baricitinib plus remdesivir for hospitalized patients with COVID-19. Uh, in this um, study, more than 1,000 patients were treated with baricitinib plus remdesivir versus remdesivir alone. And what it showed, the study showed that if you give baricitinib at 4 milligram a day for about 7 to 14 days, um, along with remdesivir, uh, was superior um, in terms of reducing the time to recovery and accelerating improvement in patients uh, with moderate to severe COVID infection, uh, especially patients who are requiring oxygen or non-invasive ventilation, this drug was quite effective. Now, this um, study uh, led to uh, an FDA approval, uh, uh, which was actually approved back in 2000, uh, November 19, 2020, uh, based on the preliminary results from these studies. How do we give the baricitinib? It's given at four milligram once a day. It's a pill, so easily can be taken. And the study was with remdesivir. However, I don't see any reason if remdesivir is not available, um, then why you cannot give four milligram of baricitinib alone? Although it's not proven, but I, th I, I think because the drug mechanism of action is very different than, than remdesivir, it should work. The duration is given generally from seven to 14 days or until hospital discharge, whichever is first. When to give baricitinib is a great question. So I don't think baricitinib should be given early. It should be given at the time when patient is requiring supplemental oxygen. Now in India, a lot of patients are not hospitalized even when they are on oxygen because of the shortage of hospitalized bed. So in that case, I would recommend as soon as the patient requires any oxygen uh, requirement, they should be put on baricitinib along with remdesivir if possible, but if not possible, perhaps baricitinib alone, but also along with steroid. Uh, dexamethasone is a preferred steroid, but any other steroid would do as well. What about the safety of baricitinib? Uh, well, because it suppresses the immune system to prevent that um, pro-inflammation uh, or inflammatory cyt uh, cytokine storm, it can lead to increased risk of infections. However, the serious infections are rare. It can cause little nausea, sometimes can raise liver enzymes, uh, can decrease blood counts, but rarely. But one of the most important side effects is it can, it can increase the tendency to form blood clots like deep vein thrombosis or PE. However, patients with COVID are often on anticoagulation or should be on anticoagulation at the time when they have moderate to severe disease at least. So to me, that uh, effect of thrombosis can be easily mitigated by uh, putting them on anticoagulation, which they are anyway need to be on due to COVID infection. Now, having said that, I give this drug 
and also similar drugs uh, to this on a daily basis for rheumatoid arthritis. This drug has been approved for rheumatoid arthritis for several, for a couple of years now, and we've been using, and it is, in my experience, quite a safe drug, um, except for rare uh, circumstances in which uh, we can get into problem. But if we are giving it to COVID patients as a life-saving drug, I think you have to take a little bit of risk of increased infection and other problems which you can monitor easily. So overall, I feel the drug is relatively safe and can should be used in patients with COVID-19 infection if other treatments are not working. Here are some references. There are some fact sheets for a healthcare provider or doctors, as well as fact sheets for patients um, that I will put together in the video, in the link on the, uh, on the YouTube uh, uh, details, you can see this link and easily click the link and uh, this will take you to the fact sheets. But also I have added the FD approval, I've added the main article, NEGM, um, and NEGM article is not the only article published, um, there are actually a couple of other smaller studies done, again, proving the benefit of baricitinib. The other good thing about baricitinib um, is um, that the baricitinib drug actually works quite fast. Within a couple of days, it starts working. I have personally given it to patients in India with currently suffering moderate to severe COVID with good results. Um, so I urge that the doctors should think about uh, giving baricitinib to their patients. Um, and obviously they have to weigh all the risk and benefits of giving this drug. Um, if you need any other information on this drug, please email me uh, and I'll be happy to provide any assistance I can. Thank you very much for listening.